We're here at California Car Company, right next to our showroom. And you can see that's a pretty cool shot of our street sign and this uh, 56 Thunderbird that we've got. But we're gonna look over here on the side at this 1948 Ford uh, Super Deluxe. This is a very nice original car. This car has the original flathead V8 engine in it. It also was painted again with lacquer paint. So the restoration of this car was done many years ago, but the paint on it is just absolutely gorgeous. All the lights work on it. This car, as you can see for 48, has the optional fog lights on the front and they're amber fog lights. Let's take a walk around the car. This car has five new, correct, wide white wall tires. It also has five freshly painted and pinstriped wheels before they're on the car. It also has one in the trunk. You can see just from walking around this car, the body and the paint on it is just gorgeous. All the chrome work and the stainless is also very nice. The pieces along the side of the car are very straight. They don't have any dings and dents and scratches and stuff in them. While we're back here, let's pop the trunk. Something neat too you can see, to see the tag on it. It's a Missouri tag from 1948. This car was originally from Missouri, so the previous owner left the tag on it for us. You can see the trunk has all the correct linings in it. It has the black vinyl covered cardboard pieces on all the sides and then a correct rubber mat on the floor. You can see there's the fifth tire with the painted wheel and a new trim ring and the jack as well. Let's see if we can pull this back so you can get a good idea of what it's like underneath here. You can see it still has some rubber insulation under here for sound deadening. Let's see if that'll come back. Oh, yes it will. Now you see other than some dirt, this is very solid under here. There's no rust in this car. Somewhere else we can look at is if you look up under the deck lid, how nice it is. Freshly, the paint was done under there as well when the car was painted. These cars are bad about rusting right here in this lip. So if you look all the way down through here, a little tough to see from the look, from the picture, but there's no rust across that lip. It's a solid lip, no rust. Close this down. You can hear how solid it is. Nice and tight. New weather stripping on that as well. Let's continue walking around the car. Again, if you look at the side moldings and everything on the car, and even the rocker moldings, you can see that they're all in very nice condition. The car was driven some before we got it, but it wasn't driven all over the country by any means. It's a very, very nice car. Runs and drives great. This was a 200 car from the Midwest. The Flathead V8 was rebuilt before we got the car, so that explains why it runs so good. Still has the original six volt charging system and a three speed on the column manual transmission. Something else that's very nice about this car is that the interior is all original. Considering it being from 1948, I'd say it looks really good. Door panels, you can see they're starting to stretch a little bit and I have some sagging pieces in it. But to be honest with you, if I was this old, I'd probably be sagging a little bit too. See this seat, really the only wear marks in the seat is right here, just from getting it out of the car. You can see where the material is just starting to tatter just a little bit. But the rest of it, the seat, the lower portion and the back portion all in great shape. If you look in the back seat, again, original upholstery. That's all in great condition as well. See the armrest on the far side? This side. All in good condition. Let's look up. You can see the headliner. All that's still in great condition as well. Something else to note, that the dash, if you look at the dash on it, the plastic isn't rippled or warped because of being in the sun too much. All that is still in good condition. Most of the time a car that's been in the sun a lot, you can tell because this plastic on the dash will be just completely rippled up. And you can see down here, when the engine was rebuilt, they installed these two gauges under here. Nothing gaudy, just simple. An oil pressure gauge and a water temperature gauge just to keep a little bit better eye on the engine to make sure nothing happens to it. All the gauges work on this car as well. And this is something I always like to make note of. Let's look at the door. If you open the door and then close it again, it's a nice solid door. You don't have to slam it. Closes nice and solid. Let's walk around, we'll go to the passenger's door. Look at the reflection in this paint. I want you to look at the clouds. 
That'll show you how nice this paint is on this car. Crystal clear reflection in it. Again, you can see there's more of the plastic and all that is in nice condition. This side of the seat, also in good condition. Back of the seats, all really nice. And this door panel as well. You can see again, it's got some stretch marks in it just from the age of it, but overall a very nice condition. No cuts, no tears. And again with this door, it's a nice closing door. The car does have new weather stripping on it as well, so that's why the doors are closing as tight as they are. Let's go around here and fire it up. Okay, brake is up, switch hands here, pop it neutral, key on, that quick and it's running, it's so quiet you can't even hear it running. Very, very nice car. Something unique also, most of the time with these flathead Fords, people usually put dual exhaust on them. This car still has the original single exhaust on it. As you can see, no smoke. Very, very nice car. Very good sound. Again, the majority of these cars have been converted to dual exhaust from a single exhaust pipe. But this one still has the single exhaust pipe and it sounds very nice. Very quiet. Very good running car. You can see the engine's cold. It's holding right at 40 pounds of oil pressure, which is great. Okay, let's pop the hood and let's see what's under there. And the door closes nice. And like I mentioned, this car still has the original six volt charging system and a rebuilt flathead V8 engine. Very nice car, it's very solid. Something else to note really quick is that while I was in the interior, I should have mentioned this, the original radio was rebuilt as well and it is functional. So that works very nicely as well. This car does have an electric fuel pump on it that was installed just to help the car while it's been sitting so long. It'll help prime the system and it just helps it fire and crank a little easier. It's less wear and tear on the starter and the, and the charging system if you can get fu uh, fuel to it really quick once the car's starting. This is a really nice car. Price on it is $22.5. One thing again I love about this car is its originality. The paintwork on it is gorgeous. It's a very solid car. It's a very good running car. Overall, just a great car. If you'd like more information about this car, feel free to call us at 770-992-8801 or stop by our showroom here off, of Roswell, off Alfreda Highway in Roswell, across the street from Andretti's. Check us out. You can also send us an email at sales at californiacarco.com to get some pictures of the car if you'd like. And you can also check us out on Facebook. We're here at our showroom from eight in the morning until eight in the evening, Monday through Friday, and on Saturdays from nine to six. Thank you very much.